I am... Don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> hey guys, John Morgan here, and I just wanted to quickly... Um, well, maybe not so quickly, but give you a little review of a watch that I have um, that I like. And I'm not getting paid by this company at all. Um, the watch is called a Tick Watch and um, I'm wearing it here. It's, I'm not much of a watch guy, but uh, the reason I got a watch or I was looking to get a watch is because I wanted to track my running and my workouts with something with GPS on it. And I was gonna get a Garmin. Those are a little expensive and I, I saw this on Kickstarter for 120 bucks. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I'll take a gamble and um, so it's not the sleekest, I mean, it's not bad looking, but it's not, eh, here it is up close. Um, there's the interface I have on it right now. You can switch them. You can go between them. Eh, if I can do this, like, just pick one that you like. Um, let's see here. There's a swatch look. Uh, that's not really my thing, but... Uh, anyways, I like this one right here, the blue one, because it has, oh, there we go, um, I can see like my steps and everything right away, I can click on that, and you can see all my, uh, how I'm doing today, not bad, there's all my steps, um, anyways, how many active hours and workout hours I have, but anyways, so, the uh, it's 120 bucks, which is a pretty good deal compared to like a, an, uh, an Apple Watch. And uh, I mean, if you want the look of an Apple Watch, then you know get the Apple Watch. But if you're budget minded like myself, uh, instead of spending 250 dollars upwards, you know 500 bucks, the Tick Watch it, on their website now it's like 160 dollars. But I saw it on Amazon today. I was just looking it up, and it was like 127 bucks. So. Um, pretty cool. It works with iPhones and Android and it runs uh, Android Wear 2.0 so it has you can put total you can put apps on like map my ride um, for biking or running or whatever um, on this and it will talk to your phone and uh, all the other stuff so I, I didn't think I would use it for anything but running but I, I keep it on for my um, activity during the day now and I mean texts come in I look at my watch sometimes if I'm, and I'll have my phone out um, calendar items and all sorts of stuff so it's pretty cool um, if you wanted something a little more sleek um, than this they have uh, other this is the tick watch e which is um, express but they also have the Tick Watch S, Tick Watch S, which is sport, which is a little has a little bevel on it and everything. It's nicer. And they have Active, which is even nicer. Um, active is like uh, two hundred bucks, and you can go to their website. I'll put a link um, below. And uh, there's a Classic, which is you're looking more like two hundred fifty to three hundred bucks. And those are those are nicer. I mean, they look more classy, like you would wear at work or something but um anyways uh nothing against apple watches except for the cost um but you know they do look a little nicer i have to admit except maybe the uh, the classic the tick watch tick watch classic looks pretty nice on their website um and pretty much does everything as advertised the only thing that um might be not quite what I what they say is that the battery life they say it lasts for 48 hours and um, I've never gotten full 48 hours out of it I uh, but I get through a full day though without charging um, every now and then I have to charge when I have a long run um, before the end of the day but not very often so I usually get all the way through a whole day which is all I need um, it's waterproof which is cool so it, it can go underwater for like 30 minutes. So it's, 
it's getting all the functionality of a higher end watch for a lesser price. So it's an awesome watch because of the price point and what it does. And so, um, anyways, that's my review. Check it out. See you later.